Good day everyone! Let's start our lesson by recalling the meaning of equation. An equation is a mathematical statement that two expressions are equal in value. And when an equation contains a variable, a vario value of the variable that makes the statement true is called a solution of the equation. And to solve an equation means to find a solution to the equation. And to do this, we need to isolate the variable either to the left side or to the right side to find for the solution. For example, we have here x minus 12 is equal to 25. Now, this x minus 12 here is equal to 25. So, what is the value of x that makes our exp expression equal to 25? This time, we are asked to solve for the value of the variable with no given val value of the variable itself. And how do we solve these types of equations? To solve these problems, let's learn the properties of equality. We have your addition property of equality. Now, if a is equal to b, then a plus c is equal to b plus c. So when I add a number c here to a, and I add the same number c here to b, they are equal. So a plus c is equal to b plus c. Now let's go back to the equation in the pre previous slide. We have here x minus 12 is equal to 25. To find for the solution of the equation, we can add 12 to the other side and add 12 to the other side so that we can eliminate this 12 and isolate the variable here to the other side. Okay, so we have our answer is x is equal to 37. I add 12 since here it is minus 12 or negative 12 and that is what we call inverse operation to undo each other. So negative 12 plus 12 we have 0. So that's why we it leaves x then the solution of the equation x is equal to 37 since we add 25 plus 12 here. On the other hand, we also have here subtraction property of equality. So if we have if a is equal to b, then a minus c is equal to b minus c. Example, we have x plus 15 is equal to 25. What are we going to subtract so that we only leave x on the other side? So we can subtract 15 to to 15 and subtract 15 also on the other side of the equation so again we can subtract the same number to each side of an equation and the equation will not change the sides remain equal then let's simplify so again we have um, plus 15 minus 15 so x plus 15 minus 15 is equal to 15 minus 15 we subtract 15 to both sides of the equation and when we simplify we have 15 minus 15 that is 0 so we have x and then 15 minus 15 is equal to 35 next we have multiplication or division property of equality so if a is equal to b and c is not equal to 0 then a times c is equal to b times c. So when we multiply a number to c to a and we multiply a number c to b, they are equal. Example, we have your 2x is equal to 50. Remember that 2 is multiplied to the value of x. So to eliminate this 2, we can divide it to 2 and divide the other side also to 2. So, the opposite operation of multiplication is division and vice versa. So, we have 2x is equal to 50. We divide it to 2. Then, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Or, we leave here x. We isolate here x and the other side, 50 divided by 2 is equal to 25. So, our answer is x is equal to 25. The last property that we are going to talk about is distributive property of multiplication. So, if we have here a multiplied by the sum of b and c we're going to do is to distribute the a to each term in the inside the parenthesis and it becomes a times b plus a times c example we have here 3 multiplied by the sum of q and 15 is equal to 42 so let's distribute 3 to each term Inside the parenthesis, so we have here 3q plus 3 times 15 is 45, is equal to 42. Now, 
Since we want only the variable on the left side of the equation, we must find a way by which we can remove other numbers here on this side without changing the problem. So let's solve one by one. To eliminate this 45, we need to subtract it to 45 to both sides and then simplify. So let's uh, eliminate one by one. So the opposite of positive 45, we can subtract it to 45. So we have 45 minus 45, that is 0. And 42 minus 45, that is equal to negative 3. So 42 minus 45 is negative 3. Then 45 minus 45, it's, it's 0 already. And the remaining expression here is 3 q. Then this 3 q here, we can divide it to 3, to both sides of the equation both sides of the equation so that we can eliminate this 3 beside the variable. Then our x, so we have 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So it leaves here x, a q, and then that's equal to negative 3 divided by 3 that is equal to negative 1. Let's have more examples. Now let me go back to the previous example. Remember what we did to eliminate this negative 12? is we add 12 to both sides of the equation to find for the solution of the equation. Now here's another way. We can transpose this negative 12 to the other side of the equation so that we can isolate this x to the, to the left side. And when we transpose, we use inverse operation. So if I have here minus 12, uh, we write here plus 12 on the other side. Then the answer is still the same. It is still 37. And this process is what we call transposition. This is another method by moving the terms and operations from a side of the equality to the other side in inverted way. Inverted meaning using inverse or opposite, opposite operation. So for addition, the opposite is subtraction and vice versa. And for multiplication, we have division and vice versa. And by the way, to check the solution here, if this 37 is correct, or if the value of x is 37, we need to substitute the number for the variable in the equation. So if this is 37 minus 12, that is equal to 25. So if both sides are equal, then the solution is correct. In our next examples, we will be using transposition method in finding for the value of the variable since it is easier and faster to solve than subtracting, adding, or multiplying and dividing both sides of the equation. It will save us time since we just need to transpose the number to the other side and isolate the variable. I just discussed the properties of equalities that you will be able to understand the basic concepts of the, the equalities. Okay, this time, let's apply transposition in this given example. So if you have 6p plus 11 is equal to 83, so we transpose the numbers one by one to eliminate the numbers and then we leave p or the variable on the left side. So first, we transpose this 11 and when we transpose, since this is positive, it becomes negative. So the remaining term here is 6p that is equal to 83, then transpose here and it becomes minus that is 11 then 6p is equal to 72 okay now we need to transfer the 6 to the other side also so that on the left side will remain p so how are we going to do that since this is multiplication for 6p then the opposite of multiplication is division. So when we transpose, we have p is equal to 72 divided by 6. And our answer, p is equal to 12. Next, we have 3m minus m is equal to 76. So since they have the same variable, we need to combine it first. So 3m minus m, so 3 minus 1, that is 2. So we write here 2m is equal to 76. Now we need to transpose this 2 to the other side so that the variable left is left here on the other side. So we have m and 76 divided by 2. Since this is multiplication, when we transpose to the other side, it becomes division. So our answer m is equal to 38. 
Next, we have 7y minus 2y plus 10 is equal to 60. So first, we need to combine the like terms. So 7y minus 2y, that is 5y plus 10 is equal to 60. So we um, transpose 1 by 1. So let's start with this 10. So here is 5y is equal to 60. Since this is plus 10, when we transpose to the other side, it becomes minus 10. So 60 minus 10, that is 50. And this is 5y. So we will transpose this 5 to the other side and since this is multiplication 5 multiplied by y we can divide it to the other side so y is equal to 50 divided by 5 y is equal to 10 we have 1 half a plus 5 is equal to 20 so we can simply write it as a over 2 plus 5 is equal to 20 since a times 1 it's still equal to a now let's transpose 1 by 1 start with this 5 so a over 2 is equal to 20 since this is plus 5 when we transpose it is minus 5 then a over 2 is equal to 15 and since this 2 here is division so we need to divide a divided by 2 so when we transpose this 2 it becomes multiplication so we have here a is equal to 15 times 2 we can get the value of a which is 30 we have thrice the difference of uh, between z and a so what we're going to do is to distribute this three first to each term inside the parentheses so we have 3z minus 24 is equal to 96 then we can transpose this numbers one by one so we have 3z is equal to 96 since this is minus 24 when we transpose to the other side it becomes plus 24 so we have 3z is equal to 120 and we transpose this 3 since 3 times 3 and z is multiplication so when we transpose it becomes division so we have here z is equal to 120 divided by 3 120 divided by 3 is equal to 40 now again, to check if your solution of the equation is correct, you can substitute this z to this expression. So if z is 40, so 40 minus 8, that is um, 32. Then 32 multiplied by 3, that is equal to 96. So your answer is correct. So that's how you are going to find for the value of the variable.